today we are going back to a project cave to finish a bolt climb. We are going to be replacing a rope that has been in the cave for about 20 years. So we need to uh, do a new climb, replace the rope for safety reasons so we can progress our exploration of this cave. So we found another cave over here on this ridge a couple years ago and it's a multi-drop cave where you repel several pitches to get down to. There's a cave over here that's over a mile long. We believe our cave over here connects to this cave. So the cave that we're going in today was surveyed. A map hasn't been produced of it yet. But what we're going to do is replace some ropes over here that have been in this cave for a very long time in a waterfall. So we're going to replace those to make it a little safer to try to push the connection between the two caves. So we're going to watch Robbie do a little bit of bolt climbing today. So this is a climb down entrance we're going to go in. Okay. Oh yeah. Is this too warm? Is it going to be too warm, y'all? No, no. Splitting up some gear. <laughs> hey, if you want to... Whatever. Honey? Is that thing? I got the drill. Oh, it's all built, bolt stuff. It's all Robbie's bold, climbing so. a 300-foot dome. Drills in well, there. Yeah, honestly, we can probably maybe I'll take some of that stuff out if we don't need it. I just brought everything because I wasn't sure what the let's pitch was. Let's take a look at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, you can have to. Oh, hell no. <clears throat> that's yours. That's, that's our easy to lose <clears throat> and expensive. How many bolts we need? How many has he got? Like 50 of them in there? You're trying to kill me, man. I don't know. You tell me how many we need. Yeah. Uh, how many do you think we're going to need? Good on that. How, many how many's in there? A lot? I just put all of them in there. <laughs> all, all of them I had. I, 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 mean, I didn't count them. 20 in there? At least. Yeah, at least 20. I'm, okay. Whatever's in there, I'm sure you can half. That's what I was thinking, half. Yeah. 10 okay. to 15. <clears throat> okay. Well, there's three. So these are the bolts that we use. Jason, would you tell us a little bit about this bolt? These are wedge bolts, but since we're only climbing, um, they're not. Per we're not leaving them as per well. They're permanent, but. They're not stainless steel, so when we drive them into the rock, they'll sit on the rock like that. And then when you tighten this up, it opens the wedge. But then when we climb up, we'll remove them, and then we'll over-drill the hole and pound them into the rock. Okay, so drill a hole, set the bolt, and then this wedge is open, so it holds it in the rock. But you drill the hole a little deep since this is not a permanent setting. They were going to take the hanger off and then pound the bolt all the way in so it doesn't um, still stick out of the wall, leave as little trace as possible. Flipping one on each, each one. And then uh, depending on like the pitches and stuff, you'll need you'll need uh, maybe two two beaners. That's fifteen right there. On that alone, that's fifteen. Range of motion, yeah, it's a range to kind of get. Yeah. What is that? Who's carrying this? Hey, somebody else want to carry this? Hammer? Yeah. Wait till I get down here and just start throwing stuff at me. Here you go. Oh, yeah. You can put it on right there. <clears throat> put it on. Oh, the bugs. Yeah, they are. The flies are terrible. You see the bats coming in. They're Take really liking out. this uh, <clears throat> warm entrance. Yeah. Nice. That'd be cool. They 
Look at all these land joff packs. Except for that seal line right there in the middle. Oh, here you go. <laughs> there we go. Now it doesn't look like one. Oh, it looks like a land joff pack. I'm gonna rig this and we're gonna repel down this, and then the next drop is blue it. So this is the second drop. I went ahead and came down first. Comes down into this room. I don't know, maybe 30 feet or so. Not very deep. Next, we're going to go through this little squeeze right here. And then there's a crawl through there that we're going to do. It's okay. It's the next little squeeze. So this was all dug out, I believe. This little passage you're going through now, Harold. And then we got Cindy. So we're passing some packs through this hole to make it a little easier on everybody to get through. It's amazing how much help it can be just somebody pulling a pack through a crawl like that for you. So here is another really cool shark tooth fossil. So this is a really cool plant fossil that was found in this cave. It's uh, like the trunk of a some type of plant. Pretty cool. A frog. Oh wow. Oh wow. I saw a Tennessee cake down in there too. What are you doing in here, little buddy? So we're gonna go up that rope to where the boat climb is gonna be.
Actually, not enough, right? So, this rope that's coming down right here has been here for at least 20 years or so. So, if you can look at it, it's it's pretty shot. It's ruined, 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 ruined. Anyways, so. Robbie here is going to set some new bolts to climb up there so we can rig a new rope. So Jason is belaying Robbie. This rope was really trashed. This is the rope that was hanging in here. How's that rope look? So, um, what we're doing today is setting some new bolts and replacing this rope for safety reasons so we can continue the exploration in this cave. So, the passage is up there where the cave continues.
Got a, that little yeah. step, he's stepping in right now. Yeah. Get up. Oh, yeah. I see. I see. So he goes up on that little ladder, and yeah. that gives him uh, three, four more feet above where he's at. <laughs> A rat's nest. It's a tiny hole up there. There he goes. Well, we know it goes to we know it goes to passage. Oh yeah, it's on. Oh, he's in there now. He's in there. There he goes into the tiny little hole. I hope it gets bigger for you, brother. <laughs> Sooner than later. Hope you can turn around. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yep, he turned right around. Okay, that's promising. Yeah, that is promising because that was quick. It's coming down the rope. Has that been doing that the whole time? It's like you're getting peed on. These things are the yeah. bomb. I'll take one of those nails. 
They're like all smished, to, smished together. I'll take one. Yeah. I'm good. Oh yeah, you wanna go on that? Oh, let's see. Oh, hold on. Let's. Ooh, ooh. That's why we're replacing this rope. Oh wow, that's really bad. That was towards the top too. So they have the new rope rigged, and so Harold is going to come back down, and Robbie's coming back out of that hole up there. I see his feet. He's coming out feet first. Just cleaning up our mess now because we've got a new rope replaced, so it's safe to climb again. I need really to push this. You have to do it now so the water's not bad up there. Yep. You, know, you have to do it now. Yeah, because last time we were up there, it was just like uh, raining everywhere. You didn't even want to stay up there for a few minutes because it was freezing. Another horn coral fossil in the limestone there. On our way back out. Just making our way back out of the cave.
Take that ratty old rope out of this cave. One more pack. One more, sir. You might as well just go. Yep, and then go after that one. Yeah, that looks like our rope. I hope not. I'm gonna keep that rope. Oh, that's your rope. I don't want to be your friend. <laughs> no, not to use. I really am gonna make a wreath out of it. My arms are officially tired. Okay. Hey, Jello. Take an official rest. Mm. So the only thing is this. On our way out. Huh? A lot of bugs. Mm -hmm. So we're at the entrance. This pain in the ass entrance. A ratty rope. <laughs> That place went right there. Yeah. Oh. How are my hacks in my back? Yeah, you have to pass those up first, probably. Like <laughs> passing up all the packs and ropes out the entrance hole here. Hey, baby, can you push up? Yep. <clears throat> Right. <laughs> That's it right now. That's all the packs for now. I'm gonna come out. <laughs> but anyway, they haven't done anything. Man, that air is ripping. Can't you can't show this on video, but there is a lot of cold air just blasting out of this entrance. There's a lot of packs in that cave. One more. One more. when I'm out of the fall zone, Robbie. A little 
real big. But I can, with, if I would have worn my scuba socks, it would have probably been just a little bit, because now they're just a little jiggly. Yeah. Just a little bit big. You know what I think about my boots? What? They're muddy. <laughs> Where's the sump at? Yeah, down here. Is there like a sump or something? We're just talking about it. Oh, underground. So that's it. Uh, we replaced the rope in the cave to make exploration a little safer so we can continue exploring this cave and trying to connect it to a nearby cave that we discovered a few years ago. It's beautiful out here.